you another on the how on the hard pack. Now the hard pack is a puncture based harpoon gun made up by the Runeer that features a um unique uh it features a unique burst fire auto thing with a um coupled with a very I guess stand like a very copying secondary fire similar to the Paris's. So it does um so the the hard pack does um, pretty much has most of his base damage and puncture with a uh, it has about about a 45 or so base um base damage with 37 of that and puncture now modding wise i put speed trigger for um the fire rate piercing hit serration and split chamber to give me that damage and um split chamber to give me a little bit more status chance and malignant force and rhyme rounds to give me a viral damage and thermite rounds to give me heat damage with all three coupled with split chamber to um, up my status chance a bit more to get me up to a 46.4. Now, the hard pack is a very solid weapon. I would say it's a, like kind of a downgraded version of the um, of the of the Attica, but of course it has its own special feature and it's not fully auto. Now, the hard pack talking about the hard pack's feature it features a um unique dual mechanic where with its burst fire if you do um if you do couple in the fact with the secondary fire it can shoot a chain or harpoon projectile as you can tell that fires a chain as so um and with this it, if you do add to the chamber the um i've tested this out the chain does go f um does hit a distance at a distance where if it does kill somebody instantly for like the weaker enemies it can um the second chain can go off and kill another person if it flails off this may be a bug or a glitch because sometimes a chain will just randomly go off and get stuck in the surface i don't know but so far i've had one one chain hit multiple enemies like that um this can be a very efficient for the hard pack as you can hit enemies from very long distances without wasting on burst and hit, killing the weaker enemies. Though this does take charge time, but that's where um, speed trigger comes into play. So um, that's a really good thing to take the uh, take in account. And then with with that, for the um, bigger enemies. As you can tell, the harpoon projectile itself has an automatic puncture proc. So when you bring this, this can be coupled with late game material where it can it can instant oh crap um it can instantly proc puncture on an enemy and pretty much cut its damage in half, thereby effectively weakening that enemy to maybe a lower unit. Um, I would say this really like you would really want to couple this against like a bombard or any hammy unit that can do a lot of damage really fast. And if you can't kill it with a uh, with um if you know you can't kill it with a burst, and you know that can really kind of I guess that can help you with survivability. Not too much. I wouldn't rely on it like wholeheartedly to like oh if you hit this enemy with puncture it won't die. I would just kind of put it to maybe like hit it a few times if it doesn't die with the first two um harpoons then you kind of be safe in mind that like oh it won't really do that much damage or if you're reviving and uh about to revive um a friendly you can hit the biggest enemy around with a puncture proc and then go to revive knowing that you won't take as much damage as you would if it didn't have the puncture proc so, as with the mechanic of all puncture or most puncture weapons like the Boltor and the Paris, one burst can hit multiple enemies, and not just because it's spread range, but because of the um the failing body mechanic. Though, if it does hit a surface, it will nail that mechanic. Except doors, as if you pin one to a door, it it can if the door is happen to be open, it can keep traveling and um further kill another enemy now this does have a really 
for a burst weapon, it has a moderate clip size with 45. And um, as you can see, I can get quite a few bursts with about... I would... I mean, you get a little bit over 11 or so. Um, or you get about 12 or so bursts. And most enemies do die with this high puncture, especially armored targets. Um, this has a 15% critical chance, but it's not too big to really um, rely on its critical damage. So, don't really mod it for crit. I honestly would say, um, since it does, since it's a burst fire mechanic, and um, since it's puncture, as I mod it for viral, as that can hit, that can um, that can hit health and cut health while I cut armor at the same time. So that can be really helpful against like high armored and high health enemy enemy units, as um. For example, like bombards, heavy gunners, stuff like that, pretty much. And this can be really effective if you have, um, do have thermite rounds laying around and you do decide to put it on or mo m uh, mock my build, as I would, as I say. As if you do go on the higher grenier missions and go up against prosecutors that only, that kind of take more effectiveness from, um, their elements, putting heat on there will effectively get. Like, it's health lower. Though it isn't a light unit where the puncture comes into play really well. Um, the heat still is an added bonus. And against the, um, infested. As they don't do too well against... I mean, they don't... They kind of nullify puncture a bit more than, um... Most of the other enemy, enemy units. Now, as... Where this gun fits in the gameplay... I would say this this can really be effective in a, um like a close quarters fast paced kind of match like a um maybe like a long run survival on like a low level planet like low to mid tier I wouldn't have this replace like if you do like the mechanic of the punk the um, thing of the uh it's secondary fire but like have a different puncture weapon, I would say stick with the puncture weapon like the Paris or the, um, or if you do only have the Paris as a puncture weapon, you might want to go to this, but if it's up against the Boltor, I wouldn't suggest this, even though, yes, you could possibly mod it out as high in damage as the Boltor, but, um, couple, and you may say, yes, couple with the status chance, it still could be effective, but in all, like, in game, I don't think it's um, as effective as the Boltor would be for like taking mowing down big or a lot of enemies. Um, it does have a very big ammo reserve, and coupled with the fact that it's burst, though you do waste some ammo if you do take on the uh, lighter units, as most die with one hit, as you could um, possibly see, as like my burst go a little bit high, coupled with due to its low accuracy but if you do do this um this is especially effective against the infested where you have the a big height different dif difference where you can aim um to possibly the back of the um shorter enemies so then if there's a bigger enemy behind it the remaining burst will hit that remain or uh, the bigger enemy and you know effectively get it down um, I do thoroughly enjoy this weapon, seeing and going with the trend how it's, um, Grenier. I, I say it's, a, it's an effective, um, it's, it is an effective, you know, um, Grenier primary. Though it doesn't really outclass most of its counterparts as burst punctures. Um, but you know, other than that, I think it's a pretty decent weapon. It can really get you through some tough times. If you're maybe just want master rank, I would say get it. If you're just trying to try out new weapons and really couldn't get your hand in the pair assist easily, I would say get it. But other than that, I say, you know, get it at your own risk. But please, if you do enjoy this build and this rundown, or on the how, I should say, please like, subscribe, and share for more on YouTube, and follow me on Twitch to see more, um live streams and whatnot 
And I was always 